noches mis queridos fortunitas y fortuneros. Bueno, vamos a seguir con Disco World Noir. Ah, pero antes... Denle like a este video, comenten, suscríbanse a mi canal, compártanlo, activen la campanita de notificaciones si se sienten millonarios, pueden hacerme llegar alguna ayudita mediante los links de Mercado Pago y cafecitos que hay en la descripción del video, y si quieren contar con contenido exclusivo, pueden hacerse miembros de mi canal. Bueno, luego de estas recomendaciones, vamos al jueguito. Bien, pero había algo que me había llamado la atención. Bien. Las Pode, Riank, Magenta... ¡Ah! O sea... Oh, ¿Qué quilombo me va a resultar esto para la guía de los colores? Pero... Bueno, a ver... ¿Cómo era para que se hacía para cambiar el, el nombre lobo? Mm. A ver, Saturnalia, ¿te lo he abierto? Ah, ah no había visto esta silueta de tiza. Bien, bien, pero no sé, no sé de quién es este. Ah. Ah. Bien, a ver. Muy bien. Magenta Trail led to the site. I followed my murderer's trail back to the temple of small gods. Muy bien. This was the other side of the window behind Moon Calf. Tata, y ahora. I was on the other side of a stained glass window with some kind of angel on it. Ah. I was confident the silhouette belonged to Moon Calf. A ver. Bueno, entonces, ¿qué hacemos acá? Bueno, espole. Good boy. <risa> Do you see senses colors? Nah, I'm just a dog. How did you know what I was talking about? I just had to think about what the things I could smell would look like as a color. <risa> Wasn't too old. Can you go through those colors again? <gasps> All right. There was the general bright green mist of the river Ong, right? Right. And the hideously unbearable blue fog is you. <laughs> hey, it was only unpleasant a short while ago. You're telling me. Then you've got a trail of purplish red with flashing dots, which is where somebody passed through the cemetery. But we don't know who. Right. And if you don't follow it before the smell of the ark drowns it out, you'll just have to wait until you find it again. De acuerdo. And compare it. De acuerdo. A ver. There's a letter at my graveside. Who's it from? Ilsa. Who's Ilsa? An old flame of mine from the good old days. How old? Old enough to be good. <laughs> What does he say? It appears to be a love letter. Dear Luton, I'm writing this letter even though I know I will never have the courage to give it to you. I have to leave Ankh-Morpork. Pork. I can't tell you why. I wish I could. These last few days have meant the world to me. But I haven't the strength to tell to your face that I can never be yours. I am married to an Agatean man named Two Conquers, And I thought I would never see him again. He was dead to me and my life was empty. Please believe me. I never meant to hurt you. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I will always look back on the Hotel Sudopolis fondly. You right? Sure. This is just one of those big emotional scenes, like in the clickies. I suppose uh, a bone is out of the question. <laughs> Maybe a dog biscuit? Wag, wag. <laughs> Hmm. 
Da, da, da. Realmente no sé para de qué lado ir, ¿eh? no lo había visto ah. Ah. ¿Se ah. pero por qué te ves cerrada el calicanto esto es Carlota I'd like to see Carlotta. Is she home? I will go and check. De acuerdo. Este no va a volver más, así que mejor nos vamos a ver el conde, a ver si le podemos sacar algo. Still here, I see. In a sense. Bueno, a ver. I don't suppose you know anything about mosses. Moss? Did you say moss? ¿Ah? Yes, lots of plants here. Can't remember much about them these days. The memory fails. There are books, though. I forget where. Ah, yes, the library is apocrypha. All the books are there, uh, you know. May I use the library? Eh? What was that, my boy? The library. Ah, yes. The library's apocrypha. All the books huh? are there, you know. You can use it if it can help your inquiry. How go your inquiries? Have you heard from Reagan? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, this room contains the von Uberwald's Libraris Apocrypha. So, will I trust be careful not to damage any of the priceless tomes housed within? <laughs> I'll be careful. One would be very upset if one was to return to find Sir. Perhaps folding paper animals from a priceless folio edition of the Dictionary of Eye-Watering Words. What are they? Uh, they are books, sir. I realize that. What are they about? The Library's Apocrypha is a collection of obscurities and rare volumes from across the continent. If knowledge were an animal, the Library's would be a great dragon. Sir, by the same scale, would be a <laughs> I'll be careful. I grabbed a book from the shelves. James All the World's Siege Weapons. Fascinating stuff. If I was planning to storm a castle and I had the defense budget of a small barony. Huh? The library was the von Uberwald's collection of obscurities. Perhaps I could turn it to my advantage. Bien. Tarjeta clasificadoras. I could mess up the filing system, I suppose, if I wanted the butler to eviscerate me with sarcasm the next time I saw him. A far better plan would be to use the index to look up a book on a particular subject. Hey, ¿qué está haciendo? The books were all neatly indexed by a vast series of cards in the same case. It looked like the von Uberwalds were using an ancient version of Hui's octal system of indexing. It was complicated, but I reckoned I could at least use it to find out what books they had on a particular subject, then wander around until I saw a bookshelf with the right number on it. Bien, pero ahora como hago? Habrá que ponerle algún las cosas arriba, a ver. Planta, pero para qué las plantas? Ah, por el muso. No me acordaba. A ver. I found a copy of Orange Crates on the Nature of Plants. The book was a tediously detailed study of the plant kingdom and one of the most boring things I've ever read. <laughs> But 
I found the moss in there. Apparently it was a lycanthrope, a type of animate moss with crude locomotion, found only in the worst sewers in the most decrepit urban areas. <laughs> Apparently the lycanthrope looked like harmless moss until something to eat walked by. Then they transformed <laughs> into a deadly lycan and devoured their prey, at least as long as it was small enough. Otherwise they just clung on for dear life. <laughs> Bien. The lycanthrope only grew in sewers. I had to find out how to get into the sewers of Ankh-Morpork. Not many people could claim that. I checked through the library and found some ancient plans of the city of Ankh. There was an intricate sewer system beneath the city. It must be thousands of years old. It would be in quite a state if it was still around. Mm -hmm. As far as I could tell, it would be under the water line if there wasn't a drought on. Given the rains that we'd had recently, I could only find one section of sewer that might be above water. There was a shallow sewer running from the Maudlin Bridge around the Rimwood side of the Royal Winter Palace of the Kings of Ark, now the home of the Patrician. I guess the designers weren't allowed to put sewers under the palace grounds, which might have been why the royal <laughs> summer palace of the kings of Ankh was a long way from Ankh Morpork. That and the stench of the river Ankh, anyway. I went under the den of Mukirnadeka. One hour. Alcantarillado. Muy bien. The ancient civic plans from the library led me straight to the sewer's entrance, not far from the Mortland Bridge. A relatively small tunnel was concealed beneath a pile of debris that must have accumulated over the centuries. It looked as if most of the tunnels here were actually still above the water line, or the sludge line, to be more honest about it. Bueno, habrá que ir. ¿Mm? Ah, salí. I headed back the way I came. I couldn't shake the feeling I was being watched. Ajá. Me, pier me perdí. I didn't want to root around in the water. <laughs> I wasn't even sure it really was water. Bueno, a ver. Bueno, y qué habrá que... A ver. Con tanto olor... No, pará, pará. Yo te venía acá. Así te puedo señalar bien. Ah, bien ahí. The trail that I had seen in the cemetery seemed to continue down in the sewers, starting at one of the pipes and disappearing into the passageways. It was almost drowned out by the smell of the Ankh, though. Bueno. Empty. There were far too many niches for me to search by hand. It bueno. would take forever. Bueno. Entonces tendré que convertirme en lobo de nuevo. Magenta scent permeated the niche, stronger even than the smell of the Ankh. What many times in life you got to say that? Well, cambiaré humano a ver si. There was all amongst. It looked like some kind of nest. I was strongly yeah. reminded of what I'd found in the Milka's cargo hold. Only this nest seemed bigger somehow. Ah, qué acá. As I stood in the alcove examining the pendant, I felt as if I wasn't alone. It was the same presence I'd felt in the milker's hole. I could feel the cold touch of death upon me. It was a strangely light touch. <laughs> Size obviously isn't important, I agree. <laughs> You are death, right? Rats have their own death. No offense, I mean, you're very, very intimidating. For a skeletal rat, at least. <laughs> so what 
your connection to the big guy. You're sort of like relatives then. You probably get together for birthdays and hogwatch night. I'd like to see that. If you don't mind me asking, were you on the Milka before? I thought so. What were you doing on the Milka? Uh-huh. No, no, please. Go on. Did you see anything? Well, I don't know anything unusual. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, I saw that. And that's here. This is its lair. It can't be very big. That's not very comforting. And I guess that's not your job, but comfort, I mean. I wasn't suggesting you weren't good at your job. I've never looked at it that way before. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was talking to a phantasmal rodent. I hoped he couldn't read my thoughts. He seems easily offended. So, what's it like being the death of rats? You don't get to talk much, do you? Well, habrá que hablar. So, do you come here often? I'm sorry, it's not easy to think of things to say to something like you. Well, it's not often I find myself in the sewers talking to a... What are you exactly? Exactly. Eh, bueno, chau, eh, tendré que hacer algo. No porque no, no tengo relación con ninguna rata muerta, así que. Well, it was nice meeting you. I have to get going. It's not like that. I have a lot of work to do. You too, huh? Y ahora por dónde me voy. Bien, me salí. Bueno, ¿dónde iré ahora? Y si voy a... Se va a bolillar de estar novia ahí. Back behind the desk, I see. Uh, hello, Lou. What about this merchant that you said was murdered? I can't discuss that with you. Well, you must be able to tell me something. The guilds like to keep these disputes to themselves. You know what I mean? You'll have to talk to the merchant's guild. Ah, The Merchant's Guild was the youngest of the Ankh-Morpork guilds, founded in self-defense by the city's traders and shopkeepers, when they realized their role in the grand scheme of things was to be robbed. <laughs> Robbing fat merchants, it seemed, was a perfectly socially acceptable, even heroic thing to do. Consequently, they weren't the friendliest of guilds either. I wasn't holding out much hope that they'd help me. Evening. Usually is when the sun sets. Is everyone in this city a smart Alec? Who's he? He used to be a regular at the Mended Drum. He made a reputation as a know-it-all. <laughs> used to be? The Mended Drum is a bad place to use the phrase, no, no. Where did they find his body? The Shades. And the Diesel Gate. His kidney down a well in Dolly's hmm? Sisters, I think. Bits of his innards all over the place. <laughs> Sounds like he had a lot of guts. Yeah. So how did you end up working on the door? 
Oh, there's only so many good positions to go around. I take it this isn't one of them. No, it's not that bad. I get to hear all the interesting news with this job. And has anything interesting happened recently? Oh, yes. Such as? We got a new kettle. <laughs> Much nicer than the one with the leak that we used to use. You boiled water in a kettle with a hole? Well, we made a lot of steam anyway. It wouldn't stay in the cups, though. And that's the most exciting thing that's happened here. Oh, exciting. If you want exciting, you should see the new color scheme in the coin shaving room. Oh, someone was murdered. Wasn't that exciting? Oh, sure. Why didn't you mention that? The guild policy. We're not to discuss the incident with outsiders. Yeah. What's all this about coin shaving? You haven't heard of coin shaving? No. I didn't even know they grew hair. <laughs> well, you take a coin and you carefully shave off some of the gold, which you can then melt into ah. the Easy money. Uh, I think I see a problem with that. Yeah? Well, I didn't think there was any gold in Ankhmore Pork Dollars. Well, there isn't. And not anymore. We can't have shaved them too much. So what do you use the coin shaving room for? We keep the kettle there. <laughs> it sets off the new kettle. <laughs> That's why you redecorated it. No, we used to keep the old kettle there. Only all the wallpaper fell down. <laughs> I don't understand. Why is it guild policy not to discuss the murder? Well, as you probably know, we formed the guild to stop the dreadful habit of visiting heroes robbing all the fat merchants. Yeah, I heard that. Ah, yonder lies a fat merchant, they cry, using that special landlord of flagging your finest ale hero talk. <laughs> Let us relieve him of Palito the para Robin Hood. upon my scallyard. Next thing you know, they robbed you blind. That's the thanks you get for years of service. Years of service, carefully mixing sand in the sugar and switching the number plates of the donkey carts. Hey, that's a very stilted view. What about all the other top quality bargains we offer? Ah, yes. All those once in a lifetime, never to be repeated, absolutely didn't fall off the back of a cart offers. Exactly. Plus, we keep the economy of the city running. By giving small sums to the less smelly beggars? Annually, yes. You were telling me about guild policy. Ah, yes. Anyway, it was decided that it would be the Merchant's Guild's policy to fully further the aims of its members, advertise the civic charms of Ankh Morpork, and beat seven kinds of hair out of anyone with a leather loincloth. Mm -hmm. Advertise the civic charms of Ankh Morpork? Are you saying you don't like Ankh Morpork? Oh, no. Absolutely not. I heard what you guys did to Castro Aster. Damn straight. He got tired real quick. This doesn't explain why you can't discuss the murder with me. Well, the Merchant's Guild is supposed to be the shining beacon that shows the rest of the world mm -hmm. how unsurpassably wonderful Ank Morpork is. By robbing them blind? Oi! Watch it. Sorry. Continue. Anyway, the point is, it's bad publicity if we're seen to have a murder in our ranks. Couldn't you sell it as a tourist attraction? What? You know, come to Ank Morpork. Site of the infamous counterweight killings. Show some respect. A merchant lies dead, struck down in his prime. So do half a dozen other people. True, but they weren't merchants. So how exactly do you go about advertising the civic charms of Ankh Morpork? We pursue those misguided people who publicly fail to recognize the many attractive points of this fine city. <laughs> pursue? Yes. We hire large gangs of men with ears like fists and fists like walnuts to point out that Ank Morpork is in fact a marvellously clean and decent city in which to live. A process whose ongoing nature might be swiftly curtailed if they don't shut up right now. I suspect they see sense. Oh yes, even if their eyes are a bit swollen. Well, no matter. Do you know anything about the murder of one of the patricians' clerks? I can't help you there. Mom? Have you heard about the counterweight killings? Who hasn't? It's the talk of the town. A gruesome serial killer in our own backyard. <laughs> Ankh Morpork. 
where major political events are never talked about, but grisly murders are discussed over the dinner table. Hey, if it isn't local news, I'm not interested. Oh, of course. 10,000 killed in a pogrom in Omnia is irrelevant. But Ank Morpork Man stops toe on the Maudlin Bridge. Oh, that's news. Someone stuck their toe on the Maudlin Bridge. Never mind. About this merchant that was killed. Sorry, I'm not allowed to discuss the incident with outsiders. A guild policy. It wouldn't hurt to tell me the broad details, would it? It would hurt a lot. They throw me off the roof. No one's going to know. I know about hitting the ground. <laughs> Is it really that important to you? The merchant skill takes its policies very seriously. So it seemed. I had to find a way to exploit that. Bueno. Well, goodbye for now. ¿A dónde podemos ir ahora? Bueno, ¿habrá vuelto el zafiro? No. El tablón de anuncios, nunca lo he leído, ¿no? Para, se me ocurre algo. Ah. Para. The cyan stench was coming from a bottle of perfume. Dark cyan was the most prevalent smell in the dressing room. Bueno. There was a booming bass quality to the scent. There was a hint of an apple colored scent in the air. Bueno, que irnos. ¿Lo jodemos a Mankin? No, mejor no. Hort, a ver qué dice. There was still no sign of Horst in his quarters. De acuerdo. He could be anywhere. Para Saturnalia. Saturnalia was locked up tight. Ah, bien, de acuerdo. Ah, está la nueva. Unseen University was positioned along a large stretch in the River Ark, and its campus was convoluted enough that it was hard to tell where the University ended and the city began. It would be wrong to say that the people of the city respected the wizards of the University, and it would be wrong to say that they hated them. In fact, all you could really say was that both the citizens and the wizards were glad of the wall that stopped them from having to socialize on a daily basis. Mrs. Folmes? Yes, I am she. What do you want? May I come in? No, you may not. I've come about the job. Hmm, is that a fact? Very well, you may enter. But wipe your feet. I won't have the help messing up the carpets. Now, you've come for the job, Mr... Luton. And yes, I am interested in the job. Well, as the head chambermaid, the decisions about hiring staff falls on my shoulders. Do you have any experience? No, but I'm a fast learner. Well, the pay is two dollars a day. There are no perks. If you want it, it's yours. Bueno, hablemos con la señora Fromms. Can you tell me about Unseen University? It's not the business of help to discuss their employers. Da, da, da. I'll take the job. When do I start? You can start now by making the beds. The dorm is through that door. I advise you to leave before the students get back. Why? Boys will be boys, Mr. Luton. And apprentice wizards are the worst kind of boys imaginable. Ah, well, de acuerdo. Hay que preguntarle algo más. Ay, me hago asesinado. Is it dangerous working here? Only I heard that one of the wizards was murdered. Don't let that bother you, Mr. Luton. 
The affairs of the staff are not our concern. You don't think I'm in any danger? Goodness, no. The odd death is just the natural course of campus politics, I'm afraid. It's a shocking turn of affairs, but we mustn't question it. Dead men's pointy boots and all that. I guess I'd better get to work. Very good. Pero no. Or si. Ah. Nah. Mejor me voy. Bueno, gente. Por hoy va a ser todo en este gameplay. Nos estaremos viendo la próxima. Para ver qué va a ser Newton con esto que se está poniendo cada vez más complicadete. Bueno, señores. Adiós y todo. Será hasta la próxima.